everybody, and welcome to episode 14 of my vanilla Minecraft experience. Now, I did a lot <laughs> in the past um, couple days. I, uh, I uh, actually went off. Um, I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to. I'm sorry. I went um, and had this uh, game continue to play while my automation. Quite a bit of materials now. It's insane, and I also have a ton of chickens roaming around because of the uh, chicken automated machine here. Just give me one second. I'm going to reduce that sound because, yeah, it's annoying in my headphones. So, anyways, I just wanted to show you the fruits of my labor. See, look at all those chickens. <laughs> look at all those chickens. Uh, yeah, here. But yeah, the uh, uh, I noticed that this machine is uh, bugging out the chickens and, and just coming out of um, the cobblestone and now just roving around free. I also added a ton more chickens, as you can hear, in this uh, little area. So now I'm getting a ton more uh, feathers and a uh, cooked chicken. I actually have a ton of cooked chicken and a ton of feathers now. My automated sheet machine is also doing extremely well. I uh, fixed it off cam and now I have a ton of wool, which is nice. So, and uh, of course my sugarcane farm is doing just fine. And uh, interesting enough, when I was playing off cam, I noticed that these mobs keep appearing. Yeah, they're over there. I don't know who they are, but I know they're definitely new to, uh, they're definitely new, because I've never seen it before. Well, new to me. I don't know if they're new to you, the viewers. The viewers. But they are definitely new to me, and I killed one recently and got a crossbow, which, that's really cool. I've never seen the crossbow before. Like, there's just a lot of new things I've never seen before like i've mentioned in previous episodes um and also i got the uh i got these enemies stuck in my uh so many chickens holy cow there are a ton of chickens but i got the enemies stuck in my animal pen like they don't know how to get out so i'm glad they don't kill you know animals that's a good thing it's just what am I gonna do? Also, I uh, created an automated egg collector. I took all the chickens that were inside the pen and boxed them up and put a hopper underneath on top of a chest. Uh, below the hopper was a chest, and now I can collect eggs. I probably have a ton of eggs now inside that chest. It'd be great for uh, making, uh, oh, what is it, cakes and whatnot. So definitely, it's, it's starting to starting to work out so today what we're gonna do is we are finally going to create the enchantment table because I went underground and I did a lot of mining so I finally got another diamond or the enchantment table still need to create a book which shouldn't be too too hard because I do have one piece of leather. Oh, I already have a book, so I don't need that leather. Nice. Excellent. And now I'm going to need some obsidian, which should be in the aesthetics. Yep, all five pieces of obsidian. And I believe I should be able to make the enchantment table. So... If I remember correctly obsidian like that and then two diamonds and then one book and then I have my enchanting table now I'm going to put my enchanting table possibly right here now the enchanting table itself is not gonna produce great enchantments unless you have a ton of bookshelves around it now my major issue is is creating those bookshelves you need a ton of books where do you get a ton of books? You make the books with, you know, leather and paper, right? 
Well, this is where I'm going to make another automated machine. And I have all of the required materials for it to make it, which is in this chest. So, this is awesome. Because I, I spent a lot of time getting all these materials and whatnot. So, I don't know where to put it, and I might kill a lot of these chickens because there are a ton of them. Okay. I think I know how they're getting out, too. I think I know how they're getting out. I think it's this uh, one block here. Let me fix this. <laughs> Let me fix this machine. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Let's see here. Cobblestone. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna go down here. Okay. Just gonna do this, and we should be fine now. Let's kill these chickens. Just really quick. Oh, one swipe and they die. That's perfect. Oh, that's loud. It's real loud. I also forgot to mention I have two new seeds now that I've been uh, planting. It's the watermelon and uh, beetroot. And I know I've also figured out that uh, beetroot is great for uh, getting pigs to mate. So that's great. But I don't know if I'm going to make an automated pig farm. So. Yeah, I'm not going to go up there. I might take care of them later. But I'm just going to let them, like, hang out in the pen. Because I really don't need anything over there as of yet. So. There. Yeah, they're staring me down. That's crazy. Anywho. We are going to make an automated cow killing machine. Which is super fun and exciting. Because I have all of the materials for it. So. First things first, we're going to have to create an area. I think it's five by five. So we'll grab my shovel here. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Two, four, five. And one more. Perfect. Yeah, it's a pretty big area. But I uh, kind of want to make a nice little platform. That way I have an idea of what I'm where I'm building. So I'm gonna need a little bit more cobblestone here. Also, I forgot to mention, I finally fixed my uh, my pathway. So, I'm gonna grab some more cobblestone or something similar to that. Uh, let's see here. It doesn't really matter what it is as long as I have an idea of a platform. Okay. I might kill those NPCs over there. But anywho, um, yeah. They just, these chickens are everywhere. <laughs> I gotta fix that. <laughs> but anywho, I should grab all of the materials to make this. Now, I, honestly, I don't remember completely how to do this. So if you give me one moment, I'm going to look it up and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. We are going to take the two chests. We are going to take these cobblestone out put some chests here then afterwards we will put I believe two hot no three hoppers down to the side here one two three and then afterwards you put the observer here that's not facing right 
No, it's definitely not facing right. It has to be facing. Okay, hold on a minute here. Got to make sure that these hoppers are connected correctly. But uh, okay, there's one that's connected to the chest. We are going to make sure these hoppers are connected. I wish I could see. I wish there was an item you could use in vanilla Minecraft to be able to like move the direction of where the hopper is. I think it would help a lot in like building these machines. Perfect. Now, now that we got that, let's uh, put down, put back down the cobblestone there. And now we need the observer to be looking at the chest. Um, quite similar. Yes, like that, but not on top of the chest. All right. Let's try that again. Mm, nope, 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 nope. Okay. <laughs> this is the hard part. And there we go. Perfect. Okay. Now we can put... this type of colored brick because I, I think it's pretty kind of and now we can put two dispensers right here and right here and then we can kind of fill this up actually we can uh, keep filling this up until we hit another dispenser here and then let's see here one two one two three four thank you <laughs> keep hitting dispenser and then it might be a little too high I'm not entirely certain Mm, that looks entirely too high. Yeah, it does definitely. Okay. No worries. All right. Cool. That was my phone that was going off. Then we can just add more to the side here. And then we can add our stone stair here. Upside down. Perfect. And then our trap doors here 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 I think here okay and then we're gonna need more uh, need more than that uh, that one stone. I can't remember the name of it. Oh, we'll figure it out in a minute. <laughs> uh, yeah. Diorite. We're going to need a little bit more of this. And not to forget, you need to put a button on this observer. Perfect. Now I'll take the diorite. And I imagine it needs to be up a little bit like this. And then there. 
then you need your glass. There. Oh. <laughs> Oof, that's not good. Whoops. Maybe I made it too long. Yikes. Man, I don't have any more glass either. Or silk touch. Damn. Well, this makes me sad. That's why I ran out of blocks. Okay. okay. Now you add the glass around it. But we're just going to... We're not going to add glass. I don't think there's any... Yeah, there is. Let's go get some sand. Unless I already have sand. I might have some extra sand. And if that's the case, great. It's just I don't have much sand. I don't. Or, or glass, honestly. And that can be a bit of an annoyance. And I, I'm nowhere near a beach. So... You know what, for now, we can just use the diorite. And I'll replace it later. I think it's... I think it's just glass around here, so... Glass. <laughs> yeah, glass. <laughs> there we go. Now, what else do we need here? Um, okay, you put the lava bucket here. You put another lava bucket here, and then water up here. You also put a button on top there. <laughs> Without glass, it just looks like it's it's a complete murder machine. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah, I put the button right there. Perfect. And then it also stated to go use levers as well. But before we do that, we are going to knock out this block here. I'm gonna use the redstone for the observer and whatnot. Which will pop out the lava here. Yeah. Okay. Now. Now we're gonna need to. Uh, make some levers. Sorry, I, I lost my track of mind for a second. Yeah, we're gonna need to use some levers, which I already have one here. And I'm just gonna need... Ah. Okay, got cobblestone. Cool. That is actually one of the few items I am lacking is cobblestone, and it is everywhere. When I play a mod in Minecraft, I always had tons and tons of cobblestone. Oof. Now I'm lacking it. There we go. And you should put the lever right here and lever right here. So you should be able to. messed up the trap doors. I just have that feeling. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. So we got your water, which the cow 
else will go in. That way they're floating and don't get hurt by the lava. Now I believe these trap doors should be open. And then have the cows float. You feed them wheat, the baby cows go down where the trap doors are. And then they get murdered by lava once the observer realizes that they've all grown up. And then you hit this button. Yeah, this uh, this should work properly. If not, we uh, I can always fix it. It's not a big deal. So everything's actually working properly. So the next thing we gotta do is we gotta kill all the NPCs. The evil NPCs that are in my animal pen. I can't believe they got stuck in there. But, uh, so, we gotta get into battle here. Let's, uh... Actually, it doesn't really matter. Let me see if I still have my crossbow. Because we're gonna go grab the cows. We're gonna put them in the machine. Holy cow. Why are there so many in my pen? They're not smart. Oh gosh. <laughs> 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 They're trying to attack me, and they can't because the fence is in the way. Which is kind of a huge benefit to me. Back up, back up, back up. I'm gonna eat a whole chicken here. Nope, oh, one's down. I'll just make them hurt themselves. They're almost dead. I got a bad omen to you buff? What's that? How do I have a bad omen? They're in my pen. <laughs> This is not good. Uh, this is not good at all. I have no idea what this debuff is. Well, there's only two left, which is nice. Should be able to take on one now. All right, cool. Ooh, I got a cro another crossbow with piercing on it. Nice. Speaking of which, let's check uh, how many eggs we have. We have a ton of eggs in this chest. Nice. Okay, so we got one cow, two, okay. I personally think we need to make it leave. It'll be a lot easier. Now that we've killed all of those pesky enemies, I don't know what they're called. I might have to do some research on those NPCs. Anywho. I got some slime here that we can use, and I got a ton of string because I went down to the mine shaft and farmed some, some webbing. So I should be able to make a bow as well. What are these? Ominous banner. Um, do I put them on the. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that is cool. I'm going to put them all over my base. 
Sorry, the, like when I see new things, I I lose track of what I'm really doing. I do that a lot, so keep in mind. Anywho, all right. I think this is how you make a lead. Yes, perfect. At Omen 2. This is not good. I'm gonna have to do research on that demo pit.